All right, what's up, YouTube? I'm here. Quite a lot of spoilers coming out tonight, so let's dig into Shining Victories, the news for V-Jump. Uh, this is a Moonlight Leo Dancer. Uh, it's Moonlight Panther Dancer plus two Moonlight Monsters. Pretty hefty. Uh, must be special summoned by sending the above. Uh, it can't be targeted or destroyed by opponent's card effects. This card can make a second attack during each battle phase, and once per turn at the end of the damage step, uh, when... This card attacked a monster. You can destroy all special monsters your opponent controls. Uh, still very hefty for three costs, but 3,500 stats, not terrible. Uh, the Moonlight Blue Cat. Uh, you can only use the one effect of this guy. So when this card is special summon, target one Moonlight monster you control except for this card. Uh, its attack becomes double its original attack. Okay, so you can partially make something big. And then if this card is destroyed by card effect or battle and sent the graveyard, special summon one Moonlight monster from your deck. Okay, so I have a pretty generic recruiter. Um, you can banish this card from the graveyard, especially on a one speed Roy tuner from your hand or a graveyard, except for, um, huh, I see really good combos with that. Speed Roid, uh, patching cart, basically patching cord. 1800, once per turn, discard a machine type monster and target one once on the field and destroy it. Um, I wish this had a Stratos effect. Search another Speed Roid. High Speed Roid Puzzle. 1300, 1600. At the start of the damage step, when this card battles a special monster and activate this effect, double this card's original attack until the end of the damage step. And then during the end phase of this card, if this synchro summon monster sends the graveyard, you can target one speed or a monster graveyard, except for high speed puzzle and add it to your hand. Okay, definitely good for floating. Uh, speed roid the dice. Um, target one speed roid tuner your graveyard, special summon, and its effects negate. And if you do roll a dice, the special monster's level becomes the level of. Of that until the end of the turn. You banish this card from graveyard. Maybe that did this effect resolve. Synchro summon a wind synchro monster. Um, I mean, okay. It's definitely not terrible. Chainable. Priest with eyes of blue. You can only use the tool effect of this guy. So when this card's almost summon, target one light tuner monster in your graveyard. Add it to your hand. Uh, you can shuffle this card uh, from your graveyard into your deck. Then target one effect monster you control. Since the graveyard, if you do special summon one blue eyes from your graveyard. Damn. I like that. Ancient White Stone. Uh, during the end phase of the card of the graveyard, you can special summon one blue eyes from your deck. Uh, okay, you can banish this card from your graveyard and target one blue eyes monster in your graveyard, add that monster to your hand. Uh, this card's some crack, Yu Gi Oh! Um, an equip card? I control another Light of Guardians. Guidance. While you have three or more blue eyes monsters in your graveyard, target one blue eyes monster in your graveyard, special summon that monster from your graveyard and equip this card to it. But it's fiction negated. If this leaves the card, banish that monster. Okay. Um, other monsters you control cannot attack. The equipped monster can attack a number of times equal to the battle face, equal to the number of blue eyes monsters in your graveyard. Uh, okay. Rival of the Great Dragon R. What are you? Falgrand, the Great Divine Dragon. Oh, yeah, we have a Falgrand archetype coming. I forgot about that. Uh, if this card is special summoned from your graveyard, you can target one monster your opponent controls, or have in their graveyard banish it. And if you do, this card gains one attack defense for the level or the rank banished. And if this card destroys one monster by value, you can target one level 7 or 8 dragon type monster in that player's graveyard. And except for him, it's special summoned to your side of the field. Oh, God. That's beefy. Uh, Paladin and Filgrin, if this card is normal summon, you can equip one level 7 or level 8 dragon type monster from your hand or deck to this card. If this equipped card is unaffected by other monster effects, uh, you can tribute both this card and one other monster you control, then target one level 7 or a dragon type monster in your graveyard and social limit. If only this actually said from your deck, I would be all about that. Target one level 7 or a dragon type monster in your graveyard and social limit. If a dragon type monster you control be destroyed by battle by card effect, you manage this card from your graveyard instead. Okay, so it has protection. Um, Ruins of the Great Divine Dragon. If a monster is special summoned, except from the graveyard, while you control level 7 or a dragon type monster, negate the effects until the end phase. Once per turn, you can send one other base of card you control the graveyard, special summon one great dragon token, level 1. Uh, if this card is sent to the graveyard, you can send one level 7 or, or a dragon monster you control from your hand. Okay, I'm going to add this card to your hand. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, next month we'll be getting the Moonlight Crimson Fox, the way it looks. And over here, finally, <sighs> new movie cards. So, this is the new Gandora. 
the Gandor X Dragon the Ruin. Uh, when this card is normal or social summon from your hand, you can destroy as many monsters on the field as possible, except this card, and if you do inflict damage to your opponent equal to the attack of the destroyed monster. Um, with the highest attack, and if you do, this card's attack becomes the same amount, and then during your standby phase, you lose half your life points. Uh, that's pretty beefy, but very costly. I do like it. Pendulum summon this. The new Gaia, Lord Gaia the, the Fierce Knight. If your opponent controls a monster while you do not, you can throw some of this card from your hand. Um, so we have a level 7 that is a Cyber Dragon, finally. Once per turn, if a monster whose attack is higher than this card's attack is special summoned to your opponent's side of the field, you can have this card gain 700 attack until the end of the turn. Um, that's Yu-Gi-Oh! Crack. I like that. I believe this is the Lemon Magician Girl. Once per turn, you contribute one Magician Girl, except for Lemon Magician, to add one spellcast type monster from your deck to your hand. Once per turn, if this card is targeted for an attack, you can switch some of one spellcast type monster from your hand. Switch this card to that summon monster. Also have the attacking monster's attack. Uh, the effect of the monster special summon by this effect is negated. Um, ooh, so beam out that Magician. Uh, so that pretty much wraps up a majority of this news. We'll be making a video on the ban list after this. All right, guys, I'm out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please thumbs up this video to show your support. And please check out Vancole 40 for Cardfight Vanguard, Mcole Games for miscellaneous trading card games, and No Limit Gaming for a brand new series of Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. Thanks for watching.